Hello and welcome to the Power Archiver tutorial. Today we'll quickly go through registering your copy of Power Archiver 2016. Here uh, we have a sample registration email that this is what you'll see once you obtain your Power Archiver license. So now once we uh, receive our registration email, let's pull up Power Archiver. Uh, the NAG screen will appear immediately. We want to click the enter registration uh, button. Uh, there we'll find two tabs, online registration and offline registration. We recommend using the online registration as it will keep our archiver registered during all updates. Um, so uh, once we're uh, in the online registration field, uh, let's go back to our registration email. We want to copy the email that's listed in the online activation section, then paste it in the email field, then go back and then also copy the activation code. We recommend copying and pasting the information in as it will enter it exactly as it appears. So once we uh, enter the email and activation, we want to click OK. Once we click OK, Power Archiver will restart and come back registered. Uh, if you do not have a select plan, uh, which is the plan that offers the online activation, you may use the offline registration information to register Power Archiver. And then we'll do the same. We want to copy the registration name, go back to the offline registration tab, paste the name, and then find the registration code, copy it as well, and then paste it into the registration code section. Click OK. Again, Power Archiver will register. And, uh, we'll restart and come back registered. So uh, there we go. It's uh, the quickest way to uh, register your copy of Power Archiver 2016. Thank you for watching.